How's it going? I'm Visionary, this is Visionary Dex, and today I built a Secret Keeper deck with the brand new Kingfisher. Now, I'm definitely not the first one to attempt this combo, but it is one of the day one decks that I had to try out. So I took a swing at building my own list and I tried to squeeze as much Secret Keeper value out of this deck as I possibly could, which is why we are playing Hourglass to resummon Secret Keeper as well as Talia to duplicate Hourglass. And as if that wasn't enough, we're also playing this card, which is basically just a giant Hourglass that traps all of the units that died as well as all of the landmarks that died in another hourglass. And the goal is obviously just to summon Secret Keeper as many times as we possibly can before we drop the Kingfisher on turn nine, so that when we play this, we actually draw like six champions, eight champions, 10 champions, instead of just drawing the normal two. Now, since Eternal Ranked is back up, I did build this deck in Eternal. It is really nice to have access to cards like Preservarium and Zillion again. Also, quick side note, I was sick while recording today's video, so if my voice sounds slightly under the weather, that's because it is. But without further ado, hope you guys enjoyed today's games as much as I did recording them. Here's game one. Pretty good hand. Pretty good hand. I'll take it. Normal Blocker, Fearsome Blocker, Auction, Challenger... Deny Pike spell. This is a good start to a game. This is just a good start. <laughs> Why is Talia in here for maximum meme potential? <laughs> Do we? I think we let him hit, dude. I don't know, man. I think we let him hit. I think we let him get a pity hit in. That is, if there has ever been a lurk attack deserving of a pity hit, that is it. <laughs> that is the one. I'm not even- I'm not blocking with my 2-1, dude. That is a waste. I'm not wasting my 2-1 on that. Alright. He thinks this is an auction deck. It's so funny. Hilarious. <laughs> it's hilarious he thinks this is an actual auction deck. Imagine. Please miss again. Please miss again. Miss again. It would be so funny. It would be the funniest thing if you just missed right now. If you just missed right here. Right here and now. Right now and here. I'm going to predict. I think we need to find the Skrinker. I don't know if I can afford... Can I afford draw? Against Lurk? I don't know if I can afford... To, I'll, I'll take it. We'll take a Prez. Uh, hopefully that'll help us find the Skrinker. I, I was almost considering playing Waking Sands here so we could block the 2-3 and kill it. But, I mean, if he has any brains, he's just pulling Akshan into the 2-3. Two, into the two, three. So we wouldn't have been able to block it anyways. I mean, hey, Lurk player doesn't attack with all his units. That is a W for us. I will take it. <laughs> sure, dude. What the heck? Um, I do think this is the moment we drop a Deny Bush. So we are safe from Pike Spell for now. Pike Spell is not three mana. Now I can afford to play Prez. Could also just bank the mana, but I'll, I'll press now just to draw sooner than later. Zillion, let's go. Wake up, Zillion. It's time. They're here. The fish are here. This is your moment. You must you must turn them into sushi. I believe. I believe you can be the best sous chef. Sushi sushi. What is a sous chef? What would you call someone who creates sushi? Would he be a sushi chef? Sushi chef? Or a sous chef? What is it? What is this? Is a sous? Why do I feel like a sous chef makes soup? Is that correct? Why would they call it a sous chef if it makes soup? Bro, he's not even attacking. What is this? Wait, wait, what? A turtle comes out. He plays lurk on a turtle. And he doesn't attack. His idea of a good time in Eternal was just to sit back, keep some Lurk guys on the bench, and just let them watch as, as I explore my brand new meme deck. Okay. If we can undo Respectable. Sue chefs support the chef. Okay, so they're like assistant chef. Assistant to the chef. Got it. That makes sense. It doesn't really. I'm just, I'm just saying it makes sense so we can move on. <laughs> I mean, what is it? What even is Sue? Why? Why are they, Why are they changing the chef's name to Sue? Sus guy. 
That's actually, that's better. Honestly. At least it's funny. At least it's a little bit funny. It's kind of funny, you know? I might as well just flip this now. If he gave a vulnerable, he are, he's going to kill it next turn start. There's no reason not to flip it now. He's, he's just going to, like, he's got a full board. There is no scenario where he doesn't just open attack. We might as well just let him pull this in. I'm not going to burn mana. I'll just spend that. Ooh. Actually, this might have been a scenario where it was worth not flipping. Because if I didn't flip, and now I play this, I do believe I get the deny spell back in hand. Is that correct? Maybe not. I probably don't. I'd get the bush back, but it would not create the deny spell. All right. Well, he finally worked up the courage to attack. Uh, have to say, good for him. This is annoying. <laughs> this is annoying. I don't like the way this is going, but good for him, I guess. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good one, Zillion. You really got him. Yeah. Careful for rally. True. Uh, I mean, there's nothing I can really do if he rallies. Just kind of GG's. I can wish I had another deny bush. I don't have another deny bush, but I, I can wish that I had one. I... Uh, I don't know how we're going to win here. I genuinely don't. Okay. I mean, we got to go with Nora, right? We got to pick Nora. What if Nora just gives me like the perfect portal the next turn? Insta wins the game. Insta win portal. I got to go Nora. I have to. I have no choice. I have to go Nora. No rally. Thank goodness. Now, do I duplicate this landmark with Talia? We can get double predict and draw. That's pretty big. I mean, next turn is turn 8. It's still not turn 9. I feel like we gotta play Talia here. This is gonna be good for us. We need to duplicate that landmark, for sure. Could also use this. What if I use this to get, like, Sunken Temple or something? We could get some, we could get some spicy landmarks off of Stone Weaving. I don't know if they'd win against Lurk, but we could. Uh, I guess the main thing I want to find here is just Time Bombs. It's like the really big thing I need to find. Because we did play Zillion. <laughs> there are time bombs in our deck. They're just not showing up. Why are they not showing up? I wish I could tell you. They just aren't. I'm going to skip. We have to find time bombs. Like, I need time bombs. Devoted Council was pretty good, but it's not good enough against Lurk. Bro. <laughs> Where are they? <laughs> Where are all of the time bombs? I don't understand. <laughs> There should be so many. Can we have leveled Oxshot at least? At least we have that. Leveled Oxshot, leveled Talia. That's pretty good, right? At least I can, like, put some pressure on this guy. I can make him scared. And we can drop a Nora. <laughs> this is, this is pretty... I, hey, at least if we lose, we go out with a bang. At, at... That is not what I meant. That is that is not what I meant. That is not okay, dude. This is why this is why he's playing Lurk and Eternal. This card was rotated. This is this is <laughs> this is why. Dude, where is my deny bush now? Did I did I see a deny bush and skip it? I don't think I saw a deny bush. Did I when I predicted? I don't believe I saw one. I mean, I can play... I guess we just play this. This is so bad. I, even this should not be enough. Because he's just gonna... He's just gonna have insane attack next turn. I don't think there's anything I can do here. I don't think this is enough to save us. He hits for like... 18. No! Wait, What? What? No! 
It's because I duplicated this. It's because I duplicated this the turn before with Dalia. So instead of getting one back, I would have I would have gotten one of these back anyways, but it would have been fine because we had three blockers. All right, dude. GG's. I don't even. We're we're so dead. It's not even funny. It's not even funny how dead we are there. GG's. I guess. Oh, that's true. Wait, we, we don't have Siphoning Strike. I I added Siphoning Strike to an original version of this deck. And then I forgot to add it to this version. This is like... A couple, couple iterations of the deck down the line. Oh, we're playing against Ramp. I'm gonna go Bomber Twins. So this is just gonna be Avalanche City, is what this is. Just like... Don't get too attached to our 1-drops and 2-drops. They're going to die. But, um... Honestly, pretty good starter hand, I would say. We have the Skrink. We have the Predict. We can go double on the Skrink. This is cheating. That is so cheating, dude. What is that? I'm gonna Prez. Now we hunt. The reason I'm Prezzing here instead of playing another unit is because this forces him to open attack. He's going to open attack because he perceives me to not have enough units to deal with him. When in reality, I do anyways. Uh, I will drop a Secret Keeper. I think we'll end up blocking with Secret Keeper and Hourglassing. I think that's the plan. We could even wait and play Hourglass, like, to save him from an Avalanche. We could block once and then Hourglass. It's pretty good. And then I guess next turn, if we don't need an Hourglass, we could play two, two drops. Potentially. We never attack because he could have a buff. I'm not... I'm not putting my Skrinker in danger. That is for sure. Keep your Skrinkers safe. Right? If you're watching this, do not try this at home. I'm about to put my Skrinker in Mortal Kombat. Not the game. Just like in... Just in combat. Or not. Maybe I won't. I don't know. I thought I was about to. Eh. I'll do a little predicting. We do some predicting around here. Predicting into more predicting. What did I say? I'm cool like that. <laughs> Wait, there was the Kingfisher. Why did I not take the Kingfisher? So, remember when I said we do predicting into more predicting? <laughs> uh, that was a whoopsie. Let me see if I can find that. Let me see if I can find that big boat again. I have a feeling we might need it. This is huge. What in the world? He's got to have a buff. What in the world? Wait, what is he doing? Why did he- Wait, why did he do that? What was the point of that? I right, thank goodness, we found it. The boat has been acquired. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the boat on board. Usually it's the other way around. Usually you're boarding a boat, but today the board- The boat- The boat? The, the board bodes us. I mean, attacking for four damage does nothing here. I'm just gonna see if we can pull this in. He might be playing a Targon's Peak deck. I kind of doubt it. I kind of doubt he's playing Targon's Peak, but he could be playing it. Do we ever destroy a landmark? Do we ever pick destroy a landmark here? I feel like it's worth it, because it's going to feel so bad if he plays Targon's Peak. Although, I do have Kingfisher. Probably was better to just go for, like, Disable Overwhelm. Probably would have been better. More like Feel the Rush. I mean, Feel the Rush... Just because he's playing Feel the Rush doesn't mean he's not playing Targon's Peak. This absolutely could be a Targon's Peak deck. Okay. Five mana, freeze four damage. It's pretty good. Some value. I will take that value. That, in my book, is value. And I'm here for it. Yeah, I actually, I should have picked uh, Disable Keyword 100%. On the world? <laughs> hey, Jin. <laughs> Where did you come from? What the? What the heck? I mean, hey. Attack, deal four, free decimate on attack. Ain't too shabby. I have to say. That's pretty good. Uh, it looks like he wants to do a board wipe here. If he does, we'll, we'll Ancient Hourglass on Secret Keeper. I'll maybe even just like... Ancient. I think we Ancient Hourglass Secret Keeper now. 
and then we Talia. And then we get six total champions in the deck. It'll actually be five, because we already drew one. So we just need to have that amount of board space when we play Kingfisher. If, if he's going for maximum value, I have to go for maximum value as well. No. Dude, okay, what is that? That is just trolling. There is no way. That's insane. It's what it's a secret keeper, bro. There is no way you just spend eight mana, kill a secret keeper. Alright, dude. He's he's actually if he if he loses this game, it is so deserved. If he loses this game, it is so unbelievably deserved. It's not even funny, dude. It's not even funny. Look what we could have had. Look what we could have had. No. All right. I got I got to predict here. We need something big, something juicy. Quicksand will do it. Quicksand Quicksand is very juicy. This is disable an entire attack for him. That is huge. <laughs> Black <laughs> Black Flame Caitlin might finally happen. That's so true. For those who weren't here for the Black Flame Caitlyn shenanigans, um, you'll you'll never know how much pain I went through trying to build that deck. So I'll say. I mean, this might seem like a terrible idea. Do I Black Flame on this to get? In? No, that is a terrible idea. Why would I ever do that? I was gonna say we get infinite landmarks. I duplicate it with Dalia, and then, like, eventually we get another Black Flame. I mean, actually, probably would have been better than this. Probably would have been better than whatever this is. Honestly. This is fine. I'll just, I'll just throw away this guy as a trump blocker. We'll pick heal. Probably actually should have picked just disable keywords again, but... He has no keywords yet, so I guess we're okay. Black Flame duplicate Jin, we could, we could. I guess we play Jin. Do we play Jin? I feel like Jin's gonna die. I feel like he's gonna play the Volibear Champ spell, and Jin's just gonna <laughs> Jin's gonna die by the number four, which would be kind of fitting. I mean, let's be honest. I, what else am I playing? I'm playing Jen, dude. Alright. <laughs> he said it himself. Suffering ends his beating heart or something. Bro, actually targeted Jin counter. This is insane. How did he know? How did he know I was going to play Jin? It literally says four or less. It's insane. It's a tough life. It's a tough life trying to meme out here. Of course, this is the turn I draw deny as well. This is the turn I draw deny. <laughs> I couldn't have top decked this one turn sooner with all my predict. I probably I probably did see it in predict and just skipped it. Alright, GG's. That is that is, <laughs> is unlucky, I guess. Okay, nice. This is Scion Rumble. I, I thought this... I saw Bandle City Noxus. I thought this was... Oh, wait, we gotta... Okay. <laughs> I, I went AFK, so I, I came back to the mulligan a little bit late. I I probably should have kept all the cards in my hand, I'm gonna be honest. Double Talia is not what I was looking for. <laughs> that is not what I was hoping to find. But alright. I'll take what I can get, I guess. Yeah, I just I made this hand ten times worse. I should I shouldn't have touched it. I shouldn't have touched it. I'm sorry. I'm like a bull in a china shop. That was fine china, and I just walked in and smashed it all. And now I'm just now I've just got crumbs of china. What am I supposed to do with these? I don't even know. I've got china crumbs. Don't want to die? Don't do terrible things. <laughs> Bro stream in a cave. Yeah, I <laughs> Not not only was my stream setup already tight, I got a new desk, and my new desk has made it like twice as tight. 
So I do every time I get up from my desk to leave and like go take a break and then come back, like refill water or whatever. It's it's I have to walk sideways. I cannot walk straight. I have to slide out. There is no walking out. I mean, that's insane stats. Insane stat, stat line. What in the world? One six. He does. He's like, oh, thank goodness. We found Secret Keeper. OK, we actually get to meme this game. Does he does he shuffle every turn like slot bot? Grant me plus. Oh, he does. He sh so he shuffles every turn. That's a lot, dude. Turn three. How does he have that many stats? What in the world? This guy's insane. And he got faded. It's nuts. <laughs> have you have you considered using your desk as a bed to save space? That is an interesting idea. I'm not sure how I would sleep on it when there are monitors. Uh, I haven't considered it until now. Thank you for <laughs> thank you for helping me consider it. I mean, it is. it really is unfortunate that, like, the game, I optimize my deck against aggro, against just, like, pure aggro. I am no longer playing against pure aggro. This is still, like, this is, this is scary. <laughs> don't get me wrong, it's just... I could probably afford to play, like, I don't know, Preservarium against this deck, which I so wisely cut... I only caught one copy of it. It's still in here, but it's just like it's the the game I <laughs> the game I finally take things slow. I just only have like anti aggro in the deck. Bro, I I genuinely like I hate this hand. I I hate this hand, but I will keep my eyes on the horizon and my feet on the ground because. What else can I do? <laughs> I am I am out of options. I guess we'll just play Talia. We'll duplicate Auction's landmark. It's only two out of five. I probably should just replace Forsaken Bakai that I play in this game. I should replace this guy with uh, the Clockling landmark for Talia. If we are playing Talia, that would just be so much better. Zillion, look who showed up. I guess playing a Zillion here would be pretty good. Could play a zillion, could also just get a little ARAM real quick. It's too good to be true. Ooh, wait, Sump Monument, though. Sump Monument is pretty big, dude. Sump Monument. Okay, I gotta go Sump Monument. Obviously, we're going Sump Monument. <laughs> I swear, if, if I lethal myself with Kingfisher from Sump Monument, though, that is going to be the saddest moment is going to be the saddest moment of all time. Uh, okay. Okay. We got Lux. There's no way I'm getting a single final spark. Uh, <laughs> I'll take Prez. <laughs> Sorry, Lux. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's not exactly what I'm looking for here. Do both landmarks advance with Auction? Yes. They both should stay synced. It is possible for them to get out of sync, but I don't think there's any way that I can out, out, out of sync them this game, if that makes sense. All right, uh, two Zillions on board, two Auction landmarks, and two useless champions. Looks like everything comes in pairs this game. Barrier is good with Rally. What 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 does that mean? Barrier is good with Rally. Are you are you telling me I should have picked Lux? There's no way I was picking Lux here. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just it's it's it would have been nice to pick a Seeker Keeper champion, but she wouldn't have done anything. Is is the sad truth. Uh, I could buff Ox on here and block with him. Block the one four. You're ruining everything. You're ruining everything. 
I don't know why, but that's so funny to me. That voice, that voice, that voice line just cracks me up. Man. Just the way the way she delivers it is just so weird. You're ruining everything. I mean, insane misplay not to play this on Smash and Dash. He would have, like, basically hit lethal if he did that, but all right. Uh, we pop both Akshan landmarks. We get double predict. Are we at turn nine yet? No, we're not. We are still only turn seven. I do have a sump monument, so that's good. If I could find a better champion, that'd be hype. Time bomb. Oh, time bomb gets rid of this. That's huge. We got to play it. Level zillion, please. Come on. Come on, buddy. Second time bomb, I believe. Let's see it. I'm gonna skip. We need to find a second time bomb. Oh my gosh. Please, please, please. Come on. Please. Second time bomb is huge because it's gonna go through spell shield and kill this. Uh, I guess we could still find it off of predict. <laughs> okay. I gotta skip. I'll play... This will level Talia, which is cool, I guess. If I play this landmark. Regen pops first. Is that true? Does does his regen pop before my time bomb? Is this is this round? St oh, it's round start. I thought it was round end. That's so disappointing. <laughs> All right. Uh oh, Akshan, and I have zero board space. I guess we just attack with Talia. And this, so I can play Auction. Is that the move? What do I play this turn? <laughs> I guess we play Deny Bush. It's probably just Deny Bush, and then I pass, and I burn the rest of my mana. I, I don't know. Do we play Sump Monument this turn? I might need to play Sump Monument this turn. We'll probably we'll probably end up like replacing Prez, because I think we do want Buried Armory. To pop. Yeah, this is good. I guess I would have died to a time bomb anyways. Understandable way would have blocked with that. Doesn't want to save HP, apparently. Okay. It are we are we safe to wait to play some monument here? I feel like we should wait to play it, because we don't want to draw mushrooms with Kingfisher, right? Is that correct? I probably- I probably do- I probably should replace Preservarium with Auction. No, I'll just end round. I, I hopefully he doesn't have a way to lethal me here. His his scion is not leveled, which is big. If anything, I think he's going to have to He's gonna have to play a, at least one more unit before attacking if he wants to hit lethal. And I'll still have the opportunity to play Sump if we really need to play it. But I can equip this onto Talia, get her to 10 HP, which is huge. I can also drop a waking sands. I'll probably do that. This is huge. And then we... we Dude, we made it! We made it to turn 9! We get to draw... Lux. Nice try, buddy! Oh, that's so funny. He thinks he actually gets to play... <laughs> he thinks he actually gets to play a spell. <laughs> that's so funny. Survival skills? I don't know, man. I don't think I don't I don't think he has survival skills. I mean, I guess we just maybe do we equip Zillion? Do we make a Swolian? Is this, is this a Swolian moment? What he's gonna buff Scion with this, right? He's gonna give Scion plus two plus two. He's gonna be plus. He's gonna be eight. So I actually have to equip Talia. This is the move here. 
Uh, I can't afford Kingfisher this turn, so we'll have to wait to play till next turn. But I want Talia to be able to trade with Scion. So now, whatever he buffs with this, I will be able to kill. Which means he's probably not... I wouldn't expect him to buff Scion here. That's surprising. <laughs> this is just like the best turn ever for me. What in the world? <laughs> All right, now we definitely play some monument. This is our moment. This is our moment to play some monument. This is it. Here we go. I'm going to play it. I have to play it. <sighs> All right. Here it is. The moment we have all been waiting for. I wish we could have gotten a little more Skrink value this game. Unfortunately, we did not. Uh, so... This is all we have. Do we Do we really... Is this our moment to drop it? I want to drop it next turn. Is that greedy? We have Time Bomb. What if I draw into another Secret Keeper? What if I draw into another Secret Keeper this turn? And then we play Kingfisher next turn for even more. I feel like we don't have enough value. I want to play Auction. Auction Time Bomb. I'm going to go for it. I, I believe this is the better play. Hopefully I don't regret it. <laughs> surely, surely I won't regret it, right? We got Sump Monument. Like, how could we lose? Okay, that's unfortunate. I was, I was just considering equipping him. <laughs> I was going to equip him, man. No. No. Okay. Uh, I guess we, I guess we equip Auction here. We definitely equip Auction. I could almost play the Challenger Bird and equip the Challenger Bird, but then I would have to override something to give it Challenger this turn. Might have been worth it, though. I didn't know he was going to play a Rumble, man. All right. I'll definitely attack with both of these. If he wants to block the through through with Rumble, I can finish it off with a Time Bomb. Okay, it's fine. We kill this with a Time Bomb. I definitely play Time Bomb this turn just to make use of our mana. And there it is, dude. What did I say? What did I literally say? I'm going to play this turn. Reason being, I think we have to insta-play Kingfisher next turn before he attacks. If we have a moment to play Kingfisher before he attacks next turn, I need to be able to play it immediately. I need to play this before he plants puff caps on all of my champions. This has to happen. So I'm gonna I, I think we had to override last turn with Secret Keeper. This is fine. Go ahead. Here it is, dude. This is our moment. We're going to draw at least at least four champions, probably more. And half of them are going to be level two. Here we go. This is it. I, I was gonna say, are you ready? But there was not even any. It was just, it was instant. Oh my gosh, dude! Look at this haul. Look at the absolute value. Is this okay? This is this is a main deck, Talia. We have four Secret Keeper champions here. This is huge, Lissandra, dude. Tough Nexus with Sump Monument and Ice Shards. Yumi is huge. Yumi is so good. Lee Sin. We could pop Yumi on Lee Sin. This is insane, dude. This is this. This is it. This is everything I was hope. I, dude, this is everything I hoped it would be and more. This is unbelievable. Lee Sin lethal. We should. We should actually have it next turn. Yeah, we should. Does he whirl? Don't you? Of course he whirling deaths, bro. Of course he whirling deaths. Okay, that's good. It's, it's good to use this now and not on Lee Sin. Remember, you rally when playing champions? Yeah, unfortunately, <laughs> I don't know that we have... I don't think we have much of an attack next turn. It, it would just be attack with Kingfisher, and Kingfisher would, like, immediately die. 
Probably better to just, uh... Probably better to just play Lee Sin and then attack, yeah? Okay, what do I want to play next turn? I think Lissandra and... Lissandra has to come down. Lee Sin probably needs to come down as well. It's eight mana. I'll have three left over to play Treasure of the Sands for potential lethal with Lee Sin into Ice Shard. So we pass. I could play Treasure Seeker so I don't burn a card. But it's more important that we hit lethal. <laughs> they added Secret Keeper support. The next month of Visionary Streams is doomed. What do you mean doomed? It's blessed. Do you not... Do, are you not here to scrink? Are you not here for the quest of scrinkage as I am? I guess, I guess what I do is I... Do I open... I probably open swing with Kingfisher, right? No, because then if he kills Kingfisher mid-combat, I don't rally. So I definitely just play Lissandra first things first. Oh, that's annoying. I forgot she creates a Thrall. That's fine. It, it just shouldn't matter. Dude, we could we could just play Thralls the rest of the game. If I wasn't about to die immediately. If I, if I wasn't desperately in need of winning this turn, we could play Thralls the rest of the game. Alright, here we go. This should be lethal. Theoretically, this should be lethal. Oh, but I don't have Challenger. Wait, he can't Dragon's Rage. Oh, okay. I thought I was going to be able to equip with Treasure of the Sands. I can't do that. Okay, new game plan. I have to play this. I should have played this last turn. That's fine. Doesn't, doesn't really make a difference. I have to play this, and I have to play Waking Sands just to give him Challenger. This is the only way. This has to happen. I have to be able to kill something this turn. Whatever whatever we pull in, we're either sending back to hand or we're killing. I can't kill Rumble, but I think it is worth it to send him back to hand. It has to be. Unless he plays this. This is a lot of damage. Double impact is pretty big. Rumble has spell shield? That's a good point. You would just kill Lee Sin. Okay. So it's this. This is the only one that makes sense. Either this or Salty Spinner. Might be Salty Spinner. Salty Spinner is pretty big. Pretty big problem. Elusive is three damage. I, I can't kill it, unfortunately. I'm just going to send it back to his hand, though. This I can kill. Elusive is one damage? Yeah, it's only one damage because of Tough Nexus, luckily. I think those are the best move. Those are best play. I could top deck a Sharp Sight, which might help us block the Elusive. It's possible. Tough Nexus, baby! Let's go! Dude, the insane Sump Monument Lissandra combo and Damasia Sharima. How did we get here? You rally? Wait, I do rally. That's true. I just play like Talia and I rally. I'll play Lux. I'm gonna play Lux. Worst worst case scenario, I think... Can I stack this? I can stack that. No, I can't stack this. I have, to, I have to play this pass, then pull in with Lee Sin. We're forcing him to open attack. This is still... This is necessary. This is our best one. Okay, block. 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 Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Is this it? Do we have lethal? We should have it. Theoretically, we got it. Theoretically, we have lethal this turn. Lethal online. I'm going to give Lee Sin spell shield just to protect him. We could play Treasure of the Sands or Yumi. Yumi's actually even better. I'll actually pop Yumi on this. Because I'm about to give all my champions spell shield. This is insane. This is insane. Dude, this is this is nuts. This is exactly what I hoped this deck would be and more. It's so beautiful. Here we go. Let's see it. 
Plus two, plus two, and spell shield. Ice shard. I don't even need ice shard. Ice shard's too much. Let's just let's just strike firmly, shall we? Let's strike firmly. I actually need to pull this in. <laughs> I need to pull this one. This one. If there's anything I need to pull in, is this unit 100. If if somehow he were to survive this turn, then we need to pull this unit in. But uh, I mean, there's no way. GG's. We did it, dude. We actually did it. Lee Sin, Lissandra, and Lux going in for the final kill. Feels good. That's like a Path of Champions game, dude. I feel like because of all the champions.